Listen up. This just in. All the gossip. Gossip. The rumor report. Gossip. Gossip. With Angela. Angela Yee. It's the rumor report. The Breakfast Club. Yes, so next week's 18th episode of Empire will be the finale for the show. They're not doing a proper final episode. It wasn't shot, and they currently can't shoot it because of coronavirus. So unfortunately, this next episode will be the last one. Now, Lee Daniels said the success of Empire and bringing the Lion family to broadcast television will always be one of the proudest achievements of my career. This show is the definition of breaking barriers. Thank you to our incredible cast, especially Terrence and Taraji, along with our amazing writers and tireless crew for all their hard work but the episode airing on april 21st which was never meant to be the series finale will be so they hope everybody does tune in i hate when um shows end like that like i like for people to put closure on long-running shows that's why i still have no closure when it comes to girlfriends because they didn't give us a, a proper final episode so i hate when they do stuff like that don't you think every episode should every season every series should have a final episode well, unfortunately, they so. can't film because of coronavirus, but they are saying they hope to film it at a later date and be able oh, to got you, got you. put it out. But they can't. So there's nothing they could do about it. Yeah, I mean, that's a and tough I, decision because, I mean, when are they going to that's going to be so late? Like, you know, I mean, you, you, people are not even going to thinking about it, you know? Yeah. But what else can they I'm, do? You're right. Well, you can always make people care. All you got to do is bring Justy's character back. You know what I'm saying? Let him come back and take over the empire. Nice. That'll be what CTV. But they can't film right now, so, you know, it's just... I'm talking about in the future. Oh, in the fu- in the last episode? Yeah, so we don't know what's going to happen. But um, we do know next week, April 21st, is going to be the finale for now. All right, now, Chadwick Boseman, we've been telling you guys yesterday was Jackie Robinson Day. Well, Chadwick Boseman just talked about Operation 42. It's a charitable effort that he's taking part in, that he's uh, putting some money into. Here's what he said. It's Jackie Robinson Day. I can't think of a better time to remember my hero, and he's the hero of uh, many of you out there, than this time that we're in, this pandemic. I can't think of a better way to commemorate everything that he was about than to announce uh, the partnership between Tolco and Figs. He's donating 4.2 million, 4.2 for 42, in protective medical equipment in honor of Jackie Robinson. All right, so that's dope. Just in honor of Jackie Robinson, wanting to make sure that you take care of those uh, African-American communities hit the hardest by coronavirus. One thing, though, that people were looking at was his appearance, and they were saying that he looks like he lost some weight, and they're wondering, is this because of a movie role he's preparing for? People were concerned about his health, but we don't know you know, what's going on. He didn't say anything about that. I'm, I'm sure it was for a movie role. Uh, Chadwick yeah. is, a, is a is a Chadwick is a thespian in a real way. He takes that acting thing serious. So I'm sure it was for a movie role. But drop one of clues bombs for my South Carolina brethren, Chadwick Boseman. Chadwick is always uh, uh, stepping up to the cause and putting his money where his mouth is. So salute to my guy. All right, now let's talk about this Michael Jordan docuseries that we can't wait to watch, The Last Dance, and we'll start watching that this weekend. But according to um, one of the people who worked on this, he said that he had a conversation with Michael Jordan about the docuseries back in 2017. And uh, the director said that Michael Jordan once told him he was so concerned about what people will think of him after they watch this docuseries. He said there's a particular, a particular moment where he was going very hard on his Chicago Bulls teammate, Scotty Burrell. And he said, when you see the footage of me, you're going to think I'm a horrible guy. He said, but you have to realize the reason why I was treating him like that is because I needed him to be tough in the playoffs. And we're facing the Indianas and Miamis and New Yorks and the Eastern Conference. He needed to be tough, and I needed to know that I could count on him. I so, don't see a problem with that. I mean, you're playing your right. team. Like, you, you push each other to play harder. You want to win. Like, I th- that's right. I, I'll be honest with you. I think the world is getting a little soft when it comes to a lot Absolutely. of that. Absolutely. Like, you want to push people to win. Now, you don't want to baby people. I don't baby my kids. I push them to be great. That's right. I don't want to don't don't bring your little sensitive eyeballs and your little thin skin and your little fake outrage to the Michael Jordan documentary. Because when you look at Michael Jordan's life and you see all of that greatness, you see those six championships, you see, you know, what he accomplished as far as his sneakers and everything else. It was a reason for that it was because he was he intense and, and he was aggressive. OK, he was a leader. He made, he, the people he made great around him. You know, you talk about Scottie the people Pippen. he made great around him. 
Yeah. Well, they did. Pull a, they did. Like a lot they of did pull a quote from the documentary, and that quote, uh, Michael Jordan says, "Look, winning has a price, and leadership has a price. So I pull people along when they didn't want to be pulled. I challenge people when they didn't want to be challenged, and I earned that right because my teammates who came after me didn't endure all the things that I endured. Once you joined the team, you lived at a certain standard that I played the game, and I wasn't going to take any less. Now, if that means I That's had right. to go in there and get in your ass a little bit, then I did that." God damn That's right. right. Sometimes you got to get in somebody's ass. Hey. And shout out to wow. Marcus Envy. Jordan <laughs> Go. who tweeted Envy out winning. Is crazy. Shout out to his son, Marcus <laughs> Jordan. He tweeted out winning has a price with quotes and then he put dad and a bunch of trophies. Yeah, All right, Scotty Pippen in the... Scotty Pippen, in the meantime, says he got fired from his role with the Chicago Bulls. Now, I guess they were talking to him on the uh, Thuzio Live and Unfiltered podcast. And he revealed that um, he couldn't come to an agreement with the Bulls front office prior to the 2019 season. So that's what happened. Listen to this. You're an ambassador for the Bulls. Is that right? I was. I got fired this year. Yeah, I didn't really want to be out in the public, but I'm no longer employed by the Bulls. Well, Probably is a good thing, right? Yeah, you're free, man. Absolutely. I, I, honestly. I like, to, I like to associate myself with winning. Well, that's stupid on the Bulls part. When you when you got a veteran you know, uh, uh, icon like Scottie Pippen, you, mm-hmm. you should keep him in your fold. So whatever you did to push him out, that's your dumb ass. And that's why y'all don't have a winning culture right now because y'all pushing away the people who have won there in Chicago and who know what that winning culture feels like. You can probably instill that in other people. All right. Well, I'm Angela Yee, and that's your rumor report.